Okay, I was in the middle of, um, hold on, let me change my hat to very conveniently. Oh no, you're looking at my bed. I'm doing laundry right now. This is unprofesh. <laughs> Gotta spit out my gum now. Okay, listen. <laughs> We've all heard some speculations. We've all known uh, some of this for some time now, but we never got the official, official confirmation until now. I was in the middle of editing. I mean, of course, I was also in the middle of doing my laundry, as you can see, but I was also in the middle of editing. Let me just, I, this is distracting. But I was in the middle of editing a different video, <laughs> and then I decided to check Twitter for, you know, <laughs> and lo and behold, legit just 26, 29 minutes ago, the cast of the Fantastic Four is officially confirmed. And of course, everyone's gonna jump on and talk about it. So I decided I'm gonna talk about it as well. First and foremost, the poster, which I mean, you guys are seeing it here, but I'm seeing it here. This poster is phenomenal. I think it's amazing because from what we know about the Fantastic Four, the movie, is that one, Matt Shankman is going to be directing this movie, and two, it's gonna be coming out next year, July 25th, 2025, which is insane to say because I was born in 1995. Oh my God, I'm gonna be 30 next year? Well, by the end of next year, at the end of next year. That's a different thing for a different day, but <laughs> they also released this, which I mean, again, you guys are seeing it. Oh no! Oh my goodness, it is the official logo, and it has the 1960s vibe, which we all heard those rumors, those reports that the movie was going to be set in the 1960s, but also going to be set in a different universe. And that's all I'm going to say because I have my own theory. Actually, we are going to be talking about theories. So if you don't want to know about anything, you can leave. But we're going to be talking about theories, about the cast, about the whole thing, the whole shebang. But as a multimedia brand designer, I do posters, I do logos. So let's talk about this logo for a quick second. Well, I think it's perfect. The whole thing, the, the background, the presentation, oh my goodness. The, it's very reminiscent of the 1960s, the font choices, the, the even the lines inside of the four. <laughs> It gives you that really clean 1950s, 1960s vibe, that really commercial aesthetic that you would see in 1950s commercials or, or even ads. And then moving on to that poster, oh my God. I mean, I was gonna mention these little uh, sparklies. It has the sparklies, it has the pops on uh, like next to the sign and down at the bottom. And look at that, look at that. This movie confirms that we are gonna be getting QB. Oh my God. Back in 2000, I want to say 15, we were supposed to get a version of Hubie, which is, was going to be a round robot well before BB-8 for Josh Trank's Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four Stick, which ended up being, to me, one of the greatest disappointments of superhero movies of all time, only because if you kept up to date with the news and everything behind with that movie, you would know that that movie is supposed to be something entirely different. And I'm still waiting for that movie. <laughs> but that's, it's never gonna happen because Disney now owns Fox and we're now moving on to new things. You know, why be stuck in the past? <laughs> because that's where the Fantastic Four are. I'm still stuck on Hubie, man. We're finally gonna get a live action adaption of Hubie. If I'm not saying that correctly, let me look that up. Herbie, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. But we are gonna be getting Herbie for the first time. And if you notice, only Mr. Fantastic and Sue Storm are in costume, kind of. They're not wearing their gloves, which is very sweet that they're not wearing their gloves. You know, it's their touching, but they are wearing their costumes, which <laughs> means we are going to be getting the classic 1960s Fantastic Four costume with the white and the blue. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so insanely good. Look at Vanessa Kirby's hair. Pedro Pascal is gonna keep the mustache. We were all wondering if he's gonna have the mustache yay or nay, and looks like it's a yay! It's kind of interesting that the costumes kind of look 
a little <laughs> like sweaters, at least the, the shirts do. The pants are very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Then we have Joseph Quinn as Johnny Storm and Evan Moss Barrack as The Thing. Listen, 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 listen. This is just fantastic for the ha 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 ha. That was a joke that was unintentional. I think this is amazing for their careers. I love Joseph Quinn. I love Evan Moss. Oh! This is gonna be so, such a good movie. This is such a good cast. And I I, I don't know why Dis, uh, Disney Marvel held on to the cast for so long, but they did. <laughs> they did and it's gonna be a, okay. The Thing and Johnny are not in costume, which I wonder if that's just to show us that this is going to be taking place in the 1950s, 60s, 70s era, like, the rumors have told us. I do also like that we get Evan Moss in a portraiture in the background behind Ben. I, again, as a graphic designer, this movie poster, I mean, it's not necessarily a movie poster. It can be, it's a little bit of a movie poster, but this poster in of itself is phenomenally done. Look at it, it's beautiful. The watercolor style, the, the, the storybook element to it. This is telling us exactly what the vibe is going to be for this movie. It's really, really interesting that the thing is reading a magazine and I'm not really sure what that is but it really does look like the Marvel logo in all honesty just because it's red and white it looks like that's the president so I wonder if the president is going to play a big part in this movie I wonder what's gonna happen because as you can see Ben Grimm does work for NASA <laughs> so I wonder them going into space was because of the president and it was because a special mission for the president I don't really know I think that's that that's my guess. But there were rumors about Galactus being one of the villains, if not the big villain for this movie. And if you see in the background there in the window, that little shape there, I know it's a little bit of a stretch, but that little shape kind of forms Galactus's ears. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so awesome. We finally have it confirmed. So this is our cast. Pedro Pascal as Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards, Vanessa Kirby as Sue Storm, the Invisible Woman, Evan Moss Barrick as The Thing, Ben Grimm, and Joseph Quinn, Johnny Storm, The Human Torch. These four are our MCU Fantastic Four, and I am so excited. I'm such a fan of all four of these actors. I think it's gonna go great. I'm so happy that Evan Moss is not the Silver Surfer. We don't know who's gonna be the Silver Surfer or the Herald of Galactus. We, all we know is that they're looking at a female one and that Anya Taylor-Joy might be it. So who knows? I don't, but I'm so glad that Evan Moss is going to be the thing. He's going to be front and center in the MCU. His his talent is amazing. The same with Joseph Quinn. Oh my goodness. First A Quiet Place Day 1 and now the Fantastic Four. It's gonna be fantastic. Haha, <laughs> four. <laughs> Him. In any case, share your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think about the logo, about the poster, about the official cast announcement. My sushi media links are in the description below and I will see you next time. You've just been modified.